Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. What's up everyone it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber and we are back here again with another action figure review okay so we're kind of doing something a little bit different but also something a little bit familiar uh so we have a essentially a ten dollar predator <laughs> that's what this guy is that's that's what he is it's not by NECA it is by Leonard uh, toys, uh, of course, they are responsible for the alien figs that you guys see, the, the kids' toy uh, alien figs. Uh, maybe some of you own them, maybe some of you collect them, but um, I wanted to see how good this figure was for $10. And as you can see, it's, it's in some really great packaging, man. If you're a Predator fan like I am, then... Obviously, for me, it's a pickup because I want to see what this is all about, even though I know it's a kid's toy. So I don't plan to get blown away because obviously NECA has mastered the Predator figure, as you guys see to the left and to the right. We're going to do some comparisons, of course. I don't think it's fair, but you guys want to see the comparisons as much as I do. So we're going to do some comparisons as well. Of course, we got some Batman figs as well to do some comparisons. But uh, with all that being said... It's in a great, great freaking box, guys. Predator, uh, Predator Collection. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hunter Series Postable 7-inch Predator. Only at Walmart. So you can only get these uh, uh, figures at Walmart. Love the Predator logo um, right there. It's kind of a raised logo right there. Hunter Weapon Accessories. Berserker Predator. Postable 25 points of articulation. Okay. With all that being said, guys, let's get this Predator out the box and let's uh, see how awesome he might be for 10 bucks. I don't think I'll be disappointed, too disappointed, because uh, there wasn't that much money spent on this guy. But um, it's a Predator add to add to my collection. You know, it's he's going to he's going to be added to my collection regardless. So let's take the Predator out the box. And, uh, come on! There we go. And great thing I love about what uh, Lenard has done already. They've given us this little base platform, which is really awesome. I really, really like that. So you can take them out, put them on this uh, base right here, which looks really, really great. Not bad for a nice cardboard piece. So yeah, that's definitely going to go in my Predator display. He might go on. I got. He might go on it. Who knows? Here is some cardboard uh, pieces right here, right there. Actually, let me take this off. Actually, I'm gonna probably cut these out. I'm gonna put these on my backboard, <laughs> just because that's what I do. He okay, so there is his uh, firing firing shoulder cannon weapon. So let's take out this predator. Berserker Predator, and I didn't even see, I didn't even notice that he actually had uh, some wire, wire here. Why they put wire there for a $10 Predator figure, I have no idea, but hey, to each his own, right? So, let's take out Berserker Predator. I'm going to give you guys a, a fair and honest review, and man, he is heavy, dude. I didn't realize how heavy... I'm going to bring my camera down just a little bit. I didn't realize how heavy he he is. Man, he has some weight to him, dude. I thought he would be like a cheaply made, you know, plastic predator. But no. I am wrong. He's actually got some really nice weight to him, guys. Most of the weight is right here up at the chest, torso area, head uh, area. 
There's his dreadlocks right there. They are not individual. They are all together. But for your but for you, the customers customizers out there, I was gonna say customers custom customizers out there, you can probably cut them in half, make individual um, individual locks if you want to. The helmet does not come off. It is sculpted on there. And uh, yeah. I mean, not bad for 10 bucks, man. Not bad for 10 bucks at all. Um, yeah, he does have some, like, really, really nice weight right here at, at the chest, man. This is, like, this is not cheap plastic, guys. This is, like, hard, hard, like, plastic, guys. The legs are not, doesn't have that hard plastic. It's, um, it's the cheap, not cheaply made plastic, but it is a cheaper plastic. There's the legs right there as you guys can see it has the ball joint right there let's check out his articulation so arms can't really go upwards because of this one this arm can but it's hindered by these pieces right here um, arm go down can't rotate because of the sh uh, shoulder pads he does have a nice little ball Hinge right here at the waist. That's really awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. That's nice. Uh, bend at the elbow. You can bend that way. <laughs> bend that way. Bend that way. Bend that way. That's as far as as he can bend. No ninety. No ninety. Ninety degree bend. I can't speak today, man. Jeez, I gotta cut back on my on my drugs. Uh, okay, then the knee bend, no 90 degree bend, this is a kid's toy, essentially, that's what you're going to get. As far as leg movement, you can kick out that far. He can do the splits that, that way. He can't really do the splits this way, but he can do the splits that way. Ankle movements, it's kind of on a ball joint, kind of weird, awkward ball joint right here. That's the rotation you can get. It can go all the way around. It can't really go in and out because of the way it's designed. Listen, overall, not bad. Not bad for a ten dollar figure. And this is really, um, this is really a great opportunity for customizers out there, man. Because I would love to see what you guys can do with this Predator, man. Um, there's the feet right there. Not bad. The Predator does have uh, four toes, not three toes. Head movement, if you guys are wondering. Head up and down, up and down. And I was wrong. This is not... Is this a shoulder cannon? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe you can switch it out. Yeah, you can probably switch that out. Let me see. This probably has to unpeg. Ooh, maybe not. <sighs> Or maybe he holds it. No, he can't hold it because here's a peg right here. So it should sit right there on his shoulder. Let's try to unpeg this. Okay, so I was able to unpeg this weapon right here. As you can see, it's a little ball joint right there. It doesn't move. I noticed right here on the uh, back, it, had, it comes with these weapons, but it doesn't come with this Predator. I think these are the other weapons that you can get when you get the other Predator figs. So there's that right there. Um, there's this wrist blade. If I didn't, guys didn't show you, it's not retractable or anything of that nature. It's just kind of hanging around. You can put the plasma gun, peg it into here onto this peg. Like so. Like so. God damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay. I kind of like that one a little bit better. I like, I like them big. <laughs> oh, wait. It is movable. Look at that. I was wrong. Yeah, because it is a ball joint, so it is movable. I, I like this cannon better because it's bigger. You know what they say well, about predators with big guns, right? <laughs> uh, they destroy more things. Okay, not too bad, guys. There's the predator in his... <laughs> in his uh, habitat. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I apologize, guys. I'm not, I'm not on my game today, man. Let's do a measurement, man. Let's put him right here. Let's do a measurement of this Predator. So, Predator stands, yeah. He stands at 7 and 3 eighths tall. That's just a little under 7 and a half inches tall. 
Okay, guys, let's do some Predator comparisons, shall we? Um, here is, I already forgot this guy's name. One of the last Predators I reviewed right here. Obviously, you can see the detail, man. It's not really a fair comparison. But like I said, for all you customizers out there, this is, this is game. I might even customize him. Why not? You know, why not? But that's how they measure up. I mean, for all those people out there who don't collect Predators, who don't collect action figures, you put this guy in with your Predator collection, he's just another Predator. People don't know any better, so they don't know about quality of toys and quality of toy companies. So here's the Alpha Predator, one of my favorite, favorite Predators in my entire collection. Not bad. Uh, one of the last figures I reviewed, Batman, Omega Batman. And then we have the Thomas Wayne Batman right here. That's how they stand. That's the height. That's the real height comparison. Okay, guys. Let me... Let me give you... Um, a rating on this guy. Let me. I'll let you know what I think of him. You know what? Before we uh, end this review, I want to find some accessories, some NECA accessories for this Predator, because I feel like he's missing some weapons. So let me find some weapons, and I'll give you my rating afterwards. Hey guys, so we are back. So I've come to an interesting conclusion here, because here's a, a staff weapon from one of the NECA Predators, but. This has kind of got me thinking a little bit, guys. Now, stay tuned, because I got something really interesting. I'm going to try something really interesting. Uh, being that I have this Predator here, we were talking about customizations. I got this bag right here, right in front of me, of Predator accessories. Now, I am wondering, being that I have extra Predator heads, I am wondering, is there any way I could pop this head off Put this head on there. I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot, guys. And plus, I got Predator hands as well. I'm going to see if I can pop these hands off. And I'm going to see if I can actually customize this Predator right here, right now, with some NECA accessories. Okay, guys. So, we are back. Okay, so I managed to take off the Predator head. Of course, the Predator head is a little bit different because the ball peg is inside the head right there okay so but here's an idea of some NECA predator head swaps right there <laughs> too so if you wanted to you could probably create your own predator head sculpt you just got to do a ball joint peg right here and then to another peg ball joint to pop it in the head and you can put a NECA Predator head sculpt, and it actually goes on there very nicely, and it actually matches up very, very well. Of course, the face, the face uh, side of the face for the Predator doesn't really match up that well, but hey, man, customizers out there, you can actually make it work. Uh, here's another head swap right here. Gold version right there, if you want a gold version. That face is kind of popping off. Or, here's another version. This is with this came with this Predator over there, which the name eludes me at the moment. But there you guys have it, man. If you guys want to customize, customize it up, look at how well that goes with this Predator body. The dots match up to his face. It actually, you can actually make it work, guys, and make yourself a Predator action figure from this body. As far as the hands are concerned, um... If you know what you're doing, you can actually pop out the hands and switch out the hands because obviously the hands are pretty much the same size. These hands look a little bit big anyway, so you could pop them out if you took out the pegs properly and you can switch out the hands if you wanted to. So yeah, there's a thought right there, guys, for you. So there's an idea for all you Predators uh, fans out there. If you don't know what the hell to do with your head sculpts, buy a $10 figure, boom, or excuse me, boom, put them on there, and boom, and customize them how you want to. This is probably a future project of mine right here, guys, so it's a possibility. The head is kind of a little big, 
But then again, this head is big as well, so yeah, it can work. He's a little he's a little stumpy. <laughs> he's got a he's got a big head, but you can make it work. I mean, this head actually goes on better with this predator right here, and the color matches up great, guys. It matches up really, really great. All right, so let's pop on this predator head. This one right here, I didn't mean for this review to be such a long ass review, but I wanted to show you guys ugh, that there are possibilities. He does look good with this head sculpt, so it's really up to you guys. I think all he really needs is kind of just a wash. So here is a weapon. This weapon is a little warp or a little bent. I don't know what it is. Here's a NECA weapon right here. We'll put into his hand. And it goes very well with him. So, dude, it works, man. It freaking, freaking works. Um, another weapon. You want another weapon? Here's another weapon right here. Let's do it. Let's put another weapon into his hand. Another NECA accessory. Let's make it work. There you go. He can hold it. Just got to get it in there properly. Let's see what other weapons he has. What else? He has the, the spear right here. You guys want a spear? He can hold the freaking spear. Why not? He can make it work. You can make it happen. <laughs> Just got to get it in there properly. There you go. You can make it work if you want to. Why not, man? All right. Let me give you my rating, guys. Let's stop messing around. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Here's a shield. You guys want to give him a shield? Boom. Boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, head swaps. So hopefully I gave you some, I gave you guys some ideas, huh? So let me give you my rating, man. Listen, this is a kid's toy. But listen, for $10, it's not freaking bad. And like I said, for all the custom customizers out there, like myself, I might do like a wash over this guy. And he might look pretty damn awesome. So listen, he's not bad. Not bad for a kid's toy. The paint apps are really nicely done. They're very simplistic. That's what they're meant to do. Um, there is some like metal flaking over it, uh, which I really like over the uh, his whole uh, wardrobe. This copper looking um, stuff that he has on him. The armor and his loincloth. So, I, I like this. I freaking like this Predator, guys. Um... On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, listen, for what he is, I'm going to give him a solid 7. Uh, he's pretty nice for a $10. $10 it was, it actually, it was like $9.87, but with tax, 10 bucks, man. Essentially, 10 bucks. I paid for this Predator. So, for that alone, I think it's pretty good for the money. 10 bucks, man. 10 bucks. This is what I'm basing him on. The detail is really nice. You know, it's not fragile like NECA, so it's not going to break. And like I said, you there are a lot of possibilities with this Predator. And listen, guys, if you like Predator figs, I mean, why not pick this guy up for 10 bucks? $10. I kind of want to pick up the rest of the Predators now. So for that kind of money, it's not bad. For what it is, it is not bad. Not bad at all, guys. All right, there was my little detail of this Predator right here. I already forgot his damn name. Berserker Predator. Berserker Predator figure. 7 out of 10, guys. Not too bad at all. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Not as great as NECA Predators. Don't get it twisted. I'm just basing it on figure, figure price, overall look. Of course, this Predator is not as great as the NECA figs. Let me put let me put that out there for you guys. NECA is way, way, way above. But for the price point of 10 bucks, it is a good figure. And that's why I'm giving him a 7. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.